problem. Wonderful. Just like always. Oh, let me just pull this up here. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick, and you're watching Gas Tax. Right behind me is my 2004 R32. This is my childhood dream car that I've been working on getting back to par, if you will, for the last couple months. If you haven't seen the Everything Wrong With My R32 video, I'll leave a link above and be sure to check that out. I've just finished up in the last video hooking up the rear suspension component. So be sure to check those out if you haven't. I upgraded the rotors, obviously, and then I bought new calipers. So today's project, uh, take off the caliper mounts from those ones so I can melt the calipers, install the rotors, and also I forgot to put this uh, vibration reducing kit on the front brakes, so I'm gonna do that. So without further ado, let's get installed. Let me show you what I have done. Basically, I removed the caliper carriers from the old calipers, uh, cleaned them up a bit. But if you look at this one, it looks like the rotor, whoever installed this last had the rotor groove like too close or something. And it wore out here. Uh, so, anyways, maybe I'll replace those one day. Forever young, or am I faking on the tip of my tongue? Problem. Wonderful. Just like always. Uh, let me just pull this up here. These caliper carriers work on both left or right side. Same, same item number. Uh, the calipers are not though. The calipers are left, right specific. As I pointed out that this caliper has a little wear right here. Then I put it on my new, my new rotors and it was touching the actual rotor so I'm not gonna you know put something on that's not right then I was actually looking at the angle of the dangle here if you will you see how this one goes you know just a little bend and then up this one's completely bent and up but this is actually a different part number now these things are a, a whopping $200 a piece here so I am not going to do that all right guys it's been a couple days uh, I had to order some parts from one love auto group check them out they uh, a great place for used vw parts i had to buy a used set of complete calipers here to get this caliper carrier you know what the problem is there so let's jump into opening this uh box here and finishing these rear brakes and boop. well well there you have it i now have Three, well, three sets of rear calipers to make one set. Obviously, these would work fine, but I have new ones right here. So what I'm gonna do now is just take these caliper carriers off. So, caliper carrier goes uh, right in here, just like that. Um, these are torqued down to 80 Newton meters. So, if you wanna know the specs, 80 Newton meters. Before I forget, the bolts that actually keep the caliper on right here, they are technically one-time use bolts. Be sure to remember that when you're ordering it, but if not, is what it is, just go ahead and clean off the old ones and put some thread lock on. I don't recommend it, but if that's the only option, do it. Uh, and these are talked down to 35 Newton meters. What I recommend is you hand tight the bottom one. Now you get your new brake pads and put them in place. Just like there, uh, you know, they just sit right there. And then when you close this up, you want these pins to slide along in here. You don't want the pins to go through the outside. There's no way I fade into oblivion. The only thing I'm not going to do now is hook up the handbrake and the brake lines. I'm still waiting on parts for that, but I consider this project done. 
it's easy to just hook up the the handbrake and the brake line then I gotta bleed the brakes that's a whole nother story let's hook up the vibration sensors for the rear pads and also I don't have cap covers for the back of the bolts there so let's get this done front is now done look at that I wish I would have got new shocks, but I'm gonna wait for those. Look at the rear. Love in the blue. What do you guys think? I love it. Huh? That's also why I love the car. Funny enough, my R8 is uh, red and gray. I'm not a red fan, but clearly I must be subconsciously because I bought a R8 with a red interior and I put a big red strap on it. But I love the silver and blue on this baby. It is looking good. For the next project, what to do, what to do? Well, I think I'm going to work on the engine bay, replace the coil packs, um, put the new engine cover on, uh, put the air box back. I have a new battery box coming, hasn't re haven't received that yet, so hopefully I'll get that. Oh, my missing light. I've been looking for this light everywhere. <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for watching this video. Progress, progress, progress is getting made. So that is great. Unfortunately, there is a ice race this weekend. And I'm gonna attend it, but just not with the car. I don't wanna rush to get the car done just for one race, but I'm sure as hell gonna work my butt off to get a lot of it done. So until next time, I'll see you then. Keep trying to get